Hello, uh, welcome to Humanities 10. I'm Grant Richards, your instructor. And um, this is a late start class, meaning that today, this week, yesterday or today, um, our class officially started. Um, I teach another section of Humanities 10 and, and that class started on um, Monday, January 24th, I believe, the, the first day of the regular semester. Um, and they're watching the exact same movie. So um, that class is in progress. Um, we watched the first half of Back to the Future on Monday and we're finishing it on Wednesday. If you ever wanna join that class to watch movies, cause we watch Mondays and Wednesdays at 11.20 and Social Science 2.14, you can um, and get credit for it too. So um, they're on a, a, a little slower schedule but they've started several weeks uh, ahead of us. So, but this is the late start class. Some things I wanted to mention is that um, this class is taught in due modality, which means it's two classes merged into one. One class is um, completely online, asynchronous. There are no Zoom meetings. I'm doing this without even notifying you. I'm just recording it. Um, and so you don't ever, you can do everything um, at home by yourself. The other is a face-to-face -face modality. And we meet Tuesdays and Thursdays at 11.20 in uh, Music 101. And so we met for the first time today. Some of you, there were eight of us in the room, small group, but uh, a passionate, fun group. Um, the eight of us met and talked about the class. And that's kind of what, I, what I'm doing here um, for you now is getting to, to introduce the class to you. But um, dual modality is allows you to do either. So those of you who signed up for face-to-face, -face, if suddenly you realize, hey, I can do this at home, um, you can. If you uh, can't find a movie or you feel like you'd rather uh, watch with others or join our discussions or whatever, you can come join us uh, anytime you want. So it's basically a class that allows you to do one or the other or a combination of the two. Maybe you uh, want to come just once in a while. Um, you can do that. Uh, but we meet um, Tuesdays and Thursdays at 11.20 in Music 101, for those of you who do want to come. Um, on Thursday, um, we are watching Psycho. So at home, you need to get started right away and start watching the movies. On Tuesday, we're watching The Graduate. Um, so the class gets going um, right away. We are we have a whole lot of material to cover in a shorter period of time. So um, you need to find a way, if you are not going to come watch with us, you need to find a way uh, to watch the movies, stream them online, um, and then participate in the class discussions. Um, you need to participate uh, for every um, movie we watch, movie genre, and um, you get 40 points for doing so. In the um, uh, discussion boards, you need to post three comments. Um, and I really don't want you to do research. I give you the research. If, if you look at my posts for the films, um, I've done that already you know, for you. Um, and I really don't want you to use, to use AI to help you write your um, uh, discussion um, comments. Uh, I want to know what you think about the films. So you can talk about anything, the acting, the cinematography, the story, the characters, the character arc, the, the music, um, the genre. It can be a very general uh, comment. Um, so that's what I'm looking for, your thoughts. Uh, if I feel that there's a chance that AI was involved in writing your comments, I may ask for you to um, meet with me, you know, come to my office or meet me on Zoom so that I can ask you about the film to make sure that you're actually watching because um, I really want your thoughts and not AI's. Um, it's not a criticism. Sometimes it's because you were a particularly good writer um, and it's really, really good. But if I suspect it, I might reach out to you I'll probably give you a zero and then say, once we talk about it, I'll give you the appropriate points. So uh, just know that that's expected. If you come to the class, you get to watch with me and then we just talk about it and you get all your points. So 
Uh, I encourage you to come when you can. It makes it very easy. Okay, the movies we'll be watching, I already said that we're watching Psycho on Thursday and then The Graduate um, next Tuesday. And then we're starting um, Jaws the following Thursday. Um, so we're jumping right in. Um, these are all important films. Um, contemporary cinema, by definition, is 1960 to the present. Um, and we start with Psycho, 1960, in part because Alfred Hitchcock did so much to end the production code and uh, make the make our system jump to the rating system. You know, G, PG, PG-13, R, NC-17, uh, X-rated, things like that. Um, before that, there were very, very strict rules. And if you're, if a filmmaker wanted to show a film in an American cinema, they had to follow these very specific rules. So we'll talk about that a lot with Psycho. Um, but so I mentioned those three. Um, after that is Back to the Future, our science fiction example. Um, then we have Goodwill Hunting, um, then Crash, a winner of the Academy Award for Best Picture. We have Arrival, another sci-fi film. We have a, a Quiet Place. So we're getting to look at kind of the evolution of horror. First was uh, Alfred Hitchcock's Psycho, then Jaws, and then a very different, more modern version of The Quiet Place. We are going to watch a foreign film. We're going to watch Parasite, which also won the Academy Award for Best Picture. We're going to watch a combat film. We're going to watch 1917. Um, it's about World War I and it, trench warfare. But the, the filming of it um, is, I think, very ingenious. It's shot as if it's one continuous um, film. It, it, it makes you feel like you're in the trenches with the soldiers. Then we're going to watch Promising Young Woman. I've never caught it before. An interesting film. We're going to watch Coda, one of my favorite films. Um, Coda is a difficult one for you to watch at home unless you have Apple TV. Um, I think it's the only place where you can stream the film. Um, but again, I will be showing it on campus for those of you who want to see it or don't have Apple TV. Um, then we're going to watch another Best Picture uh, winner, Everything Everywhere All at Once. Um, and then we'll talk about how complex um, that film is. And then we're going to finish with a, I'm not sure if it's a rom-com, it's more of a, a romantic film, but Past Lives. And um, I think it is going to be nominated. Uh, I mean, it was nominated for a bunch of Academy Awards. I think it might win some very um, good brand new film, 2024. Um, so th that's what we'll be watching. I hope at least sometimes you can come watch with us uh, let's see other things. Let's talk about though. If you're coming to the class, like those um, who were in class with me today, don't need to do a picture in a bio. Although a lot of them said that they were going to do it because I'll give them extra points. But um, those of you who are taking the class entirely online, you need to in, under your your Canvas. Um, you need to pr uh, change your profile, and that's where you upload your picture and add your bio. I see that some of you've already started doing it. Um, under the place where I said I was going to post your points. That's not where I want you to do it because I can't see your picture every time you post something. Um, so if you've already done it, I will give you the points, but please also post your picture um, on Canvas so that I can see your face and it helps me identify you and, and get to know who you are and learn your name and, and such. So um, do that. Um, that should be done in the next few days. Um, also, make sure you look at the syllabus because I did that um, in class. I went over that, um, talking about grading and, and the assignments and points and all of that. Um, and then if you have any questions about streaming the films, um, I'm one of those people. I have Netflix, Amazon Prime, HBO Max, um, Apple TV, Hulu and others. So most of these films I can stream, but unless you subscribe to multiple of these, sometimes it can be difficult. So if you have trouble finding uh, the films, let me know and I'll I'll search for you. Um, oftentimes you can have to watch it on, on YouTube or pay for it, you know, rent it on Amazon Prime. There is no uh, required textbook, so essentially the cost of screening the films um, will be the cost for taking the class online. 
Um, those are the things I think I wanted to talk about. The, the class, I use the point system for grading. Um, the class, there's a thousand points possible. And if you get 920 or more, you get an A. Um, you need 700 to pass. Um, so it makes it very, very simple. The points are all um, broken down. The discussion board is the largest part, um, but then you have to do a uh, film uh, of your own and the final exam. Um, the film is 300, the final exam is um, 300. The film project, which I'm essentially assigning now, today, first day, um, is something that you have the entire semester to work on. It's not due until May 24th, um, but it is a short film that you will create on your own. Now you can work by yourself um, or you can team up with others in the class. So you can have up to six members um, in your group and you will all get credit for the, the work that you do as a group. Um, I don't know if I would team up with anybody in class because I wouldn't want to have to juggle my schedule with others. And I'm also a filmmaker and a writer. And so I would want to do my own thing, but I can completely see that if you don't know how to edit or, or um, you do have skills, maybe you do know how, know how to edit. You can take someone's project and you be the editor. Maybe you like to write and you can write the script. Maybe you want to be in front of the camera. You're an actor and you want to try that or you want to be the director or, or whatever. But um, filmmaking is a collaborative process. You work with others to make your, your um, film and then you submit it. And if you team up with people in the class, you, you submit as a group. Um, you absolutely can do it by yourself, um, but that doesn't mean that you don't have others help you. Family, friends, um, they can help you. They're just not getting credit. Um, so as far as people getting credit, six is the max. Um, and so oftentimes, if you're going to team up, team up with one or two people in class and then get friends or whatever to help act or edit or whatever with you. So um, the film project, um, students always ask, how long should it be? Well, two to three minutes, two to four minutes is kind of my typical answer, but there is no length requirement. Um, last semester, I got two films. One was about 20 seconds long and another was, was less than 30 seconds. They were both stop motion um, and very labor intensive and the, the 20, 30 seconds were amazing. So they can certainly be short if they're really well done. I, have, I also gotten many films that are longer. Um, in fact, I've gotten films that are over an hour long. If they're tightly edited, long can be fine too. I, they, in class today, I, was, I told the group about a documentary I had gotten about um, garlic. It, um, and it was over an hour and it started with um, the farmers planting the garlic, and then there was time-lapse footage of the garlic growing, and then there was footage of it being harvested, and then trucked over to Gilroy Foods, and then the, the, the processing of the garlic, and then they even took footage from the garlic festival and um, incorporated that. So it was this whole from seed to consumption of garlic. Um, so you can do something like that, but really there's no limit. Uh, any genre, any subject matter, don't worry about language or or anything. Um, everything, anything goes. It, 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 this is college. Um, I will say that you have to submit your film so that I can watch it. Now, um, if you come to class, you could even bring your laptop and show it to me, but if you're taking the class online, you have to submit it so I can see it. The best way is if you um, uh, export your film from whatever editing software you use. I love Final Cut, but iMovie, um, Premiere, DaVinci Resolve, any, any software is fine. Um, and then you uh, upload it, your film to YouTube and then send the link to me. And that's the best way for you to watch your films. So. Nothing to be nervous about. It should be a, a very fun project unless you procrastinate and wait to the very end. Um, and you do have all until May 24th. Now, 
One thing that I want to mention right now is that um, every year, the film and television program, we do have a major here at, at Gavlin, um, film, television, and electronic media. Um, and the film students, um, the best movies of the year are played in what we call the showcase. Um, this year it's on um, Saturday, May 4th. May the 4th be with you. Um, and it's open to all. It's free. It will be in the uh, Gavilan Theater. And it's, I think it starts at 6. It's a very big deal. There'll be six or 700 people. The theater will be full. And then after we watch the, the best movies of the year, um, we have what we call the Gavies. They are awards for you know things like the best actor, best actress, best screenwriter, best editor, best cinematographer, best director, best film, et cetera. They're, it's a very big deal, even just to be nominated. And then the winners win these really nice awards and all the names go on plaques and you can see them all over in the, the TV studio. The reason I'm mentioning this showcase is that if you want to submit your film, um, you need to have your film done by April 15th. Um, that's when we, uh, that's the deadline for accepting films for this year's showcase. Um, and if your film is selected, you got an A in the cloud. You don't even need to do anything else. It's, it, it's a, it, it's a very big deal. You'll get a ton of extra credit. But the other thing is, is that we want to invite all of you to come to the showcase. It's going to be a lot of extra credit. If you come, it's 200 points of extra credit. If you bring a guest, it's 50 more. And if you get an autograph from one of the nominees, it's 50 more. That's 300 points of extra credit. That's the same as the film project or the final exam. So if you, if exams make you nervous and you um, don't want to take it, you can come to the showcase instead. Or if you are scared to do the film, you can come and um, observe um, you know, come to the showcase and, and enjoy that and not have to do that. So um, there, here's your first extra credit uh, possibility is uh, coming to the showcase. Um, put it in your calendars, Saturday, May 4th. Um, I'm not sure what else to say about the uh, project other than I know most of you are going to use your cell phones. It's great. Um, the smartphones these days uh, shoot very high quality. Um, I think I have an older uh, iPhone 11 or 12. Um, and so it, it shoots in 4K, so good resolution. I have a couple things to tell you about using this. First of all, a lot of us, because of Instagram and, and others, we film in portrait mode. That means we hold our phone like that. Um, might be good for some things, but for the sake of this class, you must turn your phone sideways so it's in landscape mode. Now, why do I ask that? Because when you make a video, we the entire 16 by nine image is filled. If you shoot in portrait mode, there are two black bars and you know black bar on either side of the image. So uh, two thirds of the image is gone. Um, so great, I'm happy to use that you use your phones as long as you um, film in landscape mode. The other thing is as great as the images um, on smartphones, the audio is not great. So um, if you have a heavy dialogue project, you know, lots of talking, um, you might want to think about using an external audio recorder um, and using a shotgun mic uh, with a boom pole or using lavaliers that um, attach to the actors. Um, and we can maybe hook you up with some of that stuff if you're interested. Um, but be aware of that, that the audio is not always great. Um, not that you have to use that. A lot of projects don't even have even actors, but if they have actors, they maybe are not speaking much, or you can um, lay their voice over the top and post, do ADR or looping um, to get that, or um, do Foley to create those sounds. So I'm using a lot of technical terms, which you'll all know by the end of the semester, but uh, maybe not now, but um, just know that um, we have camcorders that you can check out, but the the good smartphone can um, do it just, do your project just fine. So um, I feel like I'm rambling and I don't want to bore you 
Um, if you have any questions about the class or homework or assignments or any of that, please um, don't hesitate to reach out to me. Also, please look at the announcements. Um, I post announcements pretty regularly, and that's where I'll talk about extra credit or grading or upcoming events or, or whatever. So, um, for example, I think I put an announcement that you can get extra credit for watching the GAV TV news stories. Um, the film and television program has started last fall. We um, started um, a, a news program, and every week we post a new GAV TV news story. Um, two weeks ago, I think we did um, the basketball games, both men's and women's um, played MPC. Um, we did that story. Then we did the communications program. Um, uh, kind of highlighted that program. Um, we're going to be doing one for the Spanish immersion program coming up and Bach to Blues and the film program uh, actually um, completed a feature film that will be in theater soon. And we're going to promote that. So uh, rate weekly stories. Every time you watch and like them, you get 10 points of extra credit. However, you need to let me know. Send me an email with a um, quick screen grab of your thumbs up on the story, and I'll give you 10 points each time you do that. So um, look for that announcement, or I've just told you about it right now. So um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stop and uh, thank you for watching, and I'm glad that you're in the class, and I look forward to reading your comments about the movies this semester. Bye.